What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a pretty fun video. We have an ETS exhaust. It's a full exhaust, no cats, no resonators. So everything from the turbo back is pretty much a straight pipe. It does have the built-in sound chamber though. That's just to help prevent drone and all that kind of stuff you don't want to hear. But I already have the car jacked up, have jack stands under it, because I've seen somebody comment on a video. I wasn't under the car, but I know I wasn't using jack stands. I probably should have, but I'm making sure if we're underneath the car, we have jack stands put out. So I have that all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys underneath the exhaust. And this one is full of V-bands and you have clamps to put it together, but the stock one is just all weld. So we're probably gonna have to make a few cuts in it, but that's no problem. So just get a Sawzall or a grinder or something. But I will show you guys what underneath the car looks like. All right, for starters, this muffler right here, that's gonna come out. That's probably the majority of the sound problems I'm having. That's probably keeping all the sounds inside of that. And then if we come to the side, this controls the flap right here that opens and closes this one. So we already took care of that, but if you didn't, there's one connector you gotta take off and then I zip tied it up here, but that pretty much is just a relay. So this thing stays open all the time. And then coming under the car, you can see how rusty that is. So right in the middle right here, super restrictive connector that's obviously welded in. And then coming up to the front of the car, we shouldn't have any problems up here. That downpipe is brand new, the V-band's brand new. I did buy a new V-band just in case this one was broken or damaged or anything from this exhaust. So we have a new one of those. But first things first, I'm probably gonna get a Sawzall, make a cut right up here. That's where the least amount of metal is. So I'm gonna cut here and then right down here as well. Probably right by this bend, I'll make one more cut because if we get this cut out of the way, this whole muffler can drop straight down and we can just pull it out. Here is the OEM exhaust right here. This is the stock muffler. You can see my very first cut right here. And then this is the middle section, another cut. You can see how restrictive this piece is right here. And then obviously that goes to the downpipe. So with this middle piece, I, I seen that, that if you do cut it pretty long, kind of right before that, you can still slip it out with no problems. All you gotta do is just take this piece and kind of give it a twist and pull it towards the front of the car. And also silicone spray will be your friend on this. You can see how rusty that is. So yes, definitely use silicone spray. Getting it out of the hangers, it helps a ton. Going to the aftermarket exhaust, you can see that's the rear, middle, and this goes to the downpipe. It comes with three clamps. This first clamp right here goes right here. And this connects to the V-band to the downpipe right here. This is the sound suppression chamber or whatever you wanna call it. So that helps with drone. So it should have exhaust gases come down through here, kinda somehow get up in this and it doesn't make a vibrating sound or doesn't drone. I'm not sure, but I will see if that actually works. And then coming down here, Got our first V-band, connects right here to that piece, and then second V-band right here. With hanging this exhaust, it comes with two long screws and then two of the shorter screws, a couple of these aluminum spacers, and then washers. And that should sit just like this with the spacer in the middle. So you're gonna hold this in place, line this up with the hanger, and then put it through and tighten it up. And then this little washer right here will prevent the whole exhaust from either slipping out or rattling around. And if you do do this exhaust, I recommend getting a new V-band for the downpipe. This will help a ton. I know mine's pretty new already, but I did use it. So I might as well get a new one. It was only like 10 bucks or something. So throw that on there and then everything with the whole exhaust will be brand new and you don't have to worry about anything. So what I'm gonna do now is get this piece hung up and get that little uh, screw in there and get it held up in the car. Here we go, guys. We have the back portion installed. Coming up through here. You can see there's the first V-band. There are the hangers right there, kind of on an angle. And then this piece wraps around. We have one more V-band right there with another hanger. And then this piece comes out. There's that baffle system right there with another hanger on this side. And then coming through here, this is where it connects to the downpipe. And then I have really bad luck and I'm really bad at tightening things, 
but you can see this is my new V-band clamp. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I ended up twisting it. I kept tightening it until it was way too tight and then I kept going. So <laughs> that's a little bit that's a little bit twisted. I'm not too worried about it. But the whole exhaust is finished up, everything's tight. So let's go do a cold start. That was loud. You know, I've seen videos on YouTube. Well, I've seen one video on YouTube of somebody installing this and doing a cold start, and they're all freaking out, you know? I've straight piped a lot of things in my life, and I've heard a lot of cold starts. I, I literally can't, I can't even believe that. That was so insane. It's like, I don't know, like nine at night right now too, so my neighbors probably hate me. But on the bright side, my car is sick, and I will see you tomorrow, and <laughs> we can do some driving clips.